All right, let's talk about what we're going to study in chapter two. There's five lessons here. Let's grab my highlighter. Our main focus here is a central question about how do we locate points and find the distance between them. And we're going to be talking about number lines. We're going to be using coordinates to calculate distances between two locations. And we'll learn how to find the center point between any two points. So that'll be later on in the chapter. But to start, let's slide up and make this a little smaller. We have lesson two one. So lesson two one. Let's go. Lesson two one. How can we use real numbers to calculate, measure, and evaluate distance? So the key concept here is the distance between two numbers is found by subtracting. We use the absolute value since distance is always positive. So we're talking about distance between two points, it's gonna be positive, so it's like an absolute value. And of course, the vocabulary is listed down below. In lesson two, it's about what does the idea of between this help us to do. So between this and the concept here, using the idea of between this, we can identify where points are located and figure out distances. So we can use this between this to figure out where points are located and also find out distances. Okay, there's some vocabulary for that lesson. For lesson three, how can we verify that two segments, two line segments, are congruent. Congruent means equal in length. And our concept is properties of congruence are similar to the properties of equality. The two segments need to be the same length. So we're going to be talking a lot about equations, using equations to answer questions. Because, like I said, the properties of congruence are similar to the properties of equality. So there you have your vocab for that. Then lesson two four, why was the coordinate plane developed? So the coordinate plane was developed in order to locate points. So we can identify certain locations. And a lot of vocab you should know already, of course, x coordinate, y coordinate, order pairs, x axis, y axis, etc. Then lesson five, the fifth lesson, how can we locate the midpoint of any segment? So they have this line you have as part of the line and you want to be able to find the midpoint we're going to use the midpoint formula and uh, one for use with a number line and the other formula is for use with a coordinate plane and you have this midpoint formula that's going to be chapter two